Hey guys, I know a long time no see. Yes, I'm alive. <laughs> um, so I was just sitting here doing this, doing a diamond painting, and I was thinking about something that had happened kind of over the weekend, and I wanted to talk about it. So I'm going to kind of angle this down so you guys can see what I'm doing, and hopefully you'll be able to also hear what I'm saying. So let's see here. Okay. So, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I am in this group for this craft that I'm doing here called, um, God, I can't even remember what it is, but this craft is called Diamond Painting. And so, that picture that you saw, you just saw on the wall, this one. So, when I do these on the outside here where the duct tape is, um, there's usually a code here. I'll show you on this one because. Well, I mean, it's crossed out, but it, you know you'll get the idea. Where is it? Okay. So, it has a code for colors. And that one, so, and I also have this app on my phone called uh, Gems Flow. And that, I put the duct tape around it before I put the colors into my phone. And so, I was, you know, I had taken a picture of it from the app, and I was asking people, hey, you know, if you've done this one, can you send me a picture of the color code so I can put it into my app so that way, you know, I can just go ahead and keep track of it. I've been in this group since I started the craft, uh, back in like Jan March, maybe. And, um, never once have, um, <laughs> and, um, you know, I post in it all the time and, you know, so, um, this time, my mother commented. Now, you're probably like, oh my god, so what? Your mom commented on something. It's not that big of a fucking deal. Um, actually, yes. Yes, it is. Because you see, my mother, she has this act, this act for uh, coming in and out of my life, whatever the hell she wants. When I was 23, we waited a week for her to send me some sort of birthday anything. Card, gift, call, nothing. And she's got many, many ways of getting a hold of me. She could have texted my grandma. She could have texted my dad, my grandfather. She could have gotten through to me on Facebook Messenger. She could have even texted me. She's got my number, my grandma's number, and my grandfather's number. She could have called on anything. She's even got our house number. She's had our house number for years. It's never changed. And uh, 23rd birthday, you know, I wake up. I wasn't expecting a call from her right away because I know uh, one of my brothers has a lot of, he's uh, bipolar and schizophrenic, and he's in a lot of programs. And my other brother, who's, for lack of a better word, normal, um, who doesn't have any, uh, you know, mental problems or anything like that. You no, know, it's summer, you know, understandable. He goes out with his friends, whatever. So, you know, I wasn't expecting a call right away because, you know, he goes, my brother goes to his programs, other brother hangs out with friends or whatever. So I wasn't expecting a call right away as soon as I woke up. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. They live in California, so that is why um, they usually call me. So, um, we waited all day long for a call, something. Nothing ever came of it. So, waited all day the next day. Nothing. Waited for a solid week. Nothing. I then, um, my dad had, my, see, this is the difference between my dad and my mom. My dad could not afford to get me a birthday gift, so instead he opted for, um, I think, I can't remember which one it was, but, um, one of the Purge movies had come out, like, around 4th of July or something like that, and both me and my dad wanted to see it. So he said, okay, well, that will be your birthday gift, we'll go to lunch, and then we'll go see the movie. It's like, okay, cool. So, um, see, that's the thing. That's the difference between her and my dad. He didn't have money, but he was going to make up for it. So, while we're sitting there eating, he asks me again. He goes, so did your mom ever call? And now, 
mind you, this is like maybe a week or so after my birthday. And I tell him, no, no, she did not. I heard nothing from my mother until my grandmother died later that year in October. The day she died is when my mom decided to finally call. And of course, you know, I was, you know, not in the right headspace to be hearing excuses or anything like that. And so I didn't, you know, accept, you know, a call from her or anything like that. I didn't want to hear excuses. So then, um, my, uh, 24, okay, so I didn't hear anything from her again, again, until my 24th birthday. Now, you got to think, how many holidays that would suffice a family member calling someone on a holiday thanksgiving halloween or christmas new year's something nothing from her you no know, until my 24th birthday 24th birthday you guys know we went to vegas we are getting ready to go to the museum the haunted museum and i was all ready i was excited because as you guys know i'm obsessed with ghost adventures um so I was like, I was in my feelings, I was in my headspace, I'm like, yes, we're gonna go, it's gonna be awesome, there could be a chance that I can meet Zach Bagans, and then I start getting cryptic messages from her. It started that morning, now I'm one of those people that if you text me or if you call me and you don't identify yourself, I will most likely block your number or I will ignore the call or the text because I don't know who the fuck you are, you know, you just say, hey. Hi, who are you? You know? <laughs> and so she texts me, Hey, happy birthday. Okay, cool. Who are you? Thank you for the birthday uh, message. Oh, that's TikTok. Um, anyways, so I'm like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. Don't know who this person is, but apparently they like to just randomly say happy birthday to random people. So I ignored it. At that moment, she then realizes, oh wait, I can get a hold of her through her grandfather. So then, she does. And of course, then, she identifies herself, and I'm like, really? You couldn't just do that to begin with. And so I'm like, you know what, no. I'm sorry, excuse my French, but this bitch, she, you know, could not be bothered to call me for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, or for New Year's, knowing that those were the first holidays after we had just lost my grandmother, knowing that they would be the hardest holidays ever, because those are holidays that you're supposed to spend with your family. And, you know, no, no. I am not going to let her ruin something that I've been waiting years to do. So, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to accept her call. So, I didn't. And then I, uh, again, did not hear anything from her until uh, her mom died. And um, again, cryptic messages. Um, I woke up to um, a text and um, said, Hi, I'm trying to get a hold of Cynthia Gonzalez. It's about her family. No identification whatsoever, once again. And then I get a call. Hi, I'm trying to get a hold of Cynthia Gonzalez. It's about her grandmother. That's it. No identification, nothing. So I just ignored it. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, I don't talk to her. I don't. Now, I don't care to know what's going on in my other grandmother's life. I cut her out of my life a long time ago, like back when I was 15, 16 years old, when she decided to be a bitch and write a letter claiming that I only liked going with her be when she had money and then sending me $7 for my birthday. Like, if you're going to be that petty, why send anything? So I had cut her mother out of my life a very long time ago. And um, so I'm like, whatever. I get up and I'm up for, you know, a couple hours and my grandpa comes out. He goes, hey, your mom is trying to get a hold of you. Uh, Jeannie died. I'm like, huh, eh, okay, cool. 
let me know when the funeral is so I can go and dance on her grave. And of course, my grandpa is like, that's not nice. And I'm like, do you, she's, she's a fucking insane bitch. She thought we were actually descended from witches. I mean, okay, I'm German and Irish and Cherokee. Maybe, possibility, we could have been. But that's like if you're related to Hitler. You don't exactly go around saying, I'm a descendant of Hitler. You don't go around saying, hey, I'm descendant from witches. You know what I mean? If we did actually have powers and I could, you know, magically finish this thing, yeah, I'd be bragging about it, but it's not necessarily something you go around bragging about. You know? So, <clears throat> so then I tell this kid that um, when I was on good terms with my mom, um, I uh, was friends with my brother on Facebook, the one who is who doesn't have all the mental problems. Um, and for his birthday, I you know had done a birthday message on Facebook or whatever, and so I was being the nosy sister and decided to go through his friends list and see who he knows. <laughs> Just because I'm nosy like that. And um, I saw this kid that I actually went to school with. And then I'm like, okay, well, they're both skaters. Maybe they just run in the same circles. No big deal, whatever. But then one time I'm talking to my mom and I'm like, hey, how does he know so-and-so? And she goes, oh, that's your cousin. I'm like, fuck, are you fucking kidding me? We went to school from sixth to eighth grade and we didn't know that we were related. You know, and then I'm like, wow, I wonder if we would have been, you know, well, not like good friends, but, you know, like, maybe we would have, you know, been on better terms because he was kind of like the popular kid a little bit. You know, he hung out with the popular crowd. So maybe, just maybe, the bullying that I went through wouldn't have been so bad if they knew that we were fam, you know? So I reach out to him and I get no response. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's no big deal. We went, you know, practically our whole middle school lives like that. It doesn't, you know, whatever. And so I get this genius idea to um, reach out to him again after I find out that my grandmother is dead, thank God. <laughs> and um, he then tells me, wait, we're related? I didn't know we were related. Who are you related to again? And I tell him and he goes, she told us your mom aborted you. And I'm like, what? So here's skinny on that. Um, I don't really, like, you know, put this much of my you know, personal life out there, but it's kind of privy to the story. So, um, my parents signed over custody to my grandparents, who I live with now, when I was, well, it kind of started when I was two, but then when I was four, it was, like, totally, like, exclusive and uh, legal. And, um... So I guess from that point on, w because my grandmother hated my grandparents. I don't, I don't know why she just, she didn't like them. She didn't like my dad either all that much, but because I was a product of her daughter, she kind of had to, you know, get along with the fact that we're all connected now. And when she finally kind of accepted that they were you know, on good terms for a very, very long time. And, um, so, but I guess she just hated my grandparents just so fucking much in the beginning that I was considered dead to her. So she then went and told all of her family that I was aborted. That my mother aborted me. Because my mother didn't get me in the settlement. No, my grandparents did. So I was no longer, I guess, her grandchild or something. I don't know. But either way, she was fucking insane. She even, um, when she was going through a divorce with my, um, with her second husband, she was having someone break into her house cutting holes in the crotches of her underwear and pants. 
She was then bringing me, at the time, elementary to middle school age, into this house. Now, she lived out in the middle of the desert in a trailer. So, could it have been my grandfather? Maybe. Could it have been illegals? Maybe. She didn't know. But, here's the thing. I think it may have been illegals because even after she changed the locks by herself and cut open this part here, which is a main artery, she sutured it up herself and finished the work and then went to pick me up. After she did all of that, it still continued. She then had me sleeping in the bedroom where all of that stuff would go down. Tell me, why in your right mind would you let a child, no matter how old they are, if they're a female, why would you, um, you know, do that? Why would, yeah, why? So then we started to take trips up to Phoenix a little bit more to spend time with my aunt. My aunt was an alcoholic. They fought a lot. So all in all, it, it's just a toxic, toxic side of the family. And I want nothing to do with them. So I just kind of cut them all out of my life. And I, and my mom, there was at one point when I did actually, you know, want to reach out because she wanted me to go um, with her to like the memorial service or the funeral, or I don't even know what it was, but with the family. So I did think about it and I unblocked my mom. I said, hey, you know, we started to kind of talk a little bit and she told me about that she was going to be coming down in February for that. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, you know, I'll think about it. And then she starts sending me chain messages. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm one of those people, again, that I don't like chain messages. I think they're stupid. I'm a 90s child. I'm a, you know, so I grew up in the area of chain texts and chain mail and everything. And you just get to a point where you're just tired of it. <clears throat> so, first train message I got from her, blocked her right away. So then, now we're getting back around to her finding me in the group. I post that, you know, post, and she finds me. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? I thought I blocked her. Turns out I did not block her completely. Just blocked her on Messenger. That was fun to figure out after I had already left the group. <laughs> You know, but, yeah, so, that's also a little bit of an explanation of why you will never see um, more than my brother or my dad's side of the family in any videos, if they ever are to be in any videos or anything like that. <coughs> so, yeah, guys, that is that. I've never done one of these videos. What do you guys think about this? Might do more like this, because this is just so easy to do like this. This craft. Before you ask where I got this, this one I got at Dollar General. It was called Dot and Dazzle. This is the only one that I've seen so far. Uh, so go and pick it up. It's only like five bucks. So if you want to, if this looks interesting to you and you want to start doing it, this is a really good place to start. And this is what they call a special or rhinestone um, uh, diamonds. So I like it. It's really, I think, well, because it's rhinestones, I know it's going to be super, super sparkly. <laughs> and what I'm doing right now is a method called... Um, what do you call it? Uh, burr, trucker board. There we go. Took me a second. Basically, you do every other one. So that way, when you go back and do the rest, they kind of fit together a little bit better. I'm done doing it. 
Nope. I think the checkerboard part is done. I think I can go back. Nope. So, um, leave me a comment saying if you have ever had to do anything like what I have done with your family. We can bond over our childhood traumas. <laughs> Welcome to the side of childhood trauma. We have cookies. <laughs> Okay, so trucker board part is done, guys. So let me, let me do this here. So yeah, so that's the story, and here's the trucker board part. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave now. Ooh, see sparkly, right? I don't know where it's gonna go yet. It's well, it's not done. You know, it's not. I still have to do the whole butterfly and everything. But I don't know where it's gonna go. Whether it's gonna go in the litter room because the litter room is gonna be my craft room, or if it's gonna go in my bedroom. Not sure yet. But yeah, oh, um, <clears throat> I did a bad thing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this, yeah. So, um, you know what? I'll do another one. I'll do another, um, they call them whipping chats, uh, work in progress and chat. I'm explaining all this, but no, this was, some of this, no, was not started during quarantine. This, quarantine, yeah. The fading, quarantine. But other than that, before it looked great. So, <laughs> but I'll do another video kind of explaining it because my grandpa's not here yet. So might as well. I'll put this one to upload while I'm doing that one, so. Bye, guys.